Okay, guys, we just received the Mad Dog stock from Doug Russell over at MadDogStocks.com. Um, if you're familiar with Air Force air guns and our Condors or Talon air guns, um, you'll know that Mad Dog uh, and our Doug makes a stock uh, for the actual gun. And what it does is it basically takes all the flex out of the gun, or at least a very high percentage of it. Um, we're going to go ahead and uh, start the unboxing of it. Um, as you can see in front of you, there it is. Let's go ahead and take a look at it and see just how beautiful this thing is. Alright, here it is. Look at this thing. Oh, this is nice. Look at that end cap. Ah, swivel stud end cap here. The hole through the uh, grip for uh, mounting to the uh, Air Force uh, gun. And what is this? How about that rail for you? Huh? Mount accessories and the swivel stud. So you have the ability to mount a sling right there and there. You have the ability to mount a bipod, a monopod, anything that attaches to a swivel stud as well as any type of accessories. And the nice thing about it is um, Doug asked me what all I wanted on it, where I wanted it, and I told him just, you know, put the uh, Weaver base or Picatinny base here, and obviously the uh, end cap here. And this end cap, you can nice another little nice feature is look at this. This adjusts up and down, so if you shoot a uh, bench rest, there you go, you're able to do that too. So you can have a bipod up front and use this adjustment and you can shoot it off the bench just like this or off a mat, off the ground, anywhere. So this is another great, great, great feature. This is really nice. So if you guys saw earlier this spinning, it wasn't because he left it loose, it's because that's what it's supposed to be for. Isn't that nice? And I have to admit this thing is really, really light. I mean, real light. Um, what I'm gonna do, this probably feels like uh, maybe two pounds at the most, a pound and a half. And a lot of it is probably this swivel. Um, also, the uh, butt pad. Um, so without this and without this, I mean, you can imagine how much lighter it would be. So what I'll do is at the end, I'll put up all the details at the end of the video. The length of it, the weight of it, length of pull, how thick the pad is, the features that come with it. I'll add all that stuff at the uh, very end of it. But like I said, isn't that nice? One of the other nice features that he did, um, one of the special things about this stock is that on my TD257, if a lot of you guys watch my video, you're familiar with my gun, I have a bigger bottle. Um, it's bigger in diameter, but shorter in length. So he basically cut this or tapered this and put an, an indention here for the bottle. Um, not that it's gonna sit in it, but just in case. Um, it's another nice little feature he did. He grooved this for my bottle. And he also custom made this for my bigger bottle. So for you guys out there that at some point are going to get the bigger bottle, which will be available from uh, R&L um, pretty soon, they will have the bigger bottles available. This stock will already come. Uh, and one of the other nice little things that he did that I have to mention that was really, really nice of Doug, um, I couldn't believe that he did it. He actually put in here, you probably can't see it, but he put right here 
he put T1. I don't know if you guys can see it, but that's basically too fast for you. Um, first version, uh, first serial number. So I have the first uh, Mad Dog stock that uh, is made for the bigger 53 cubic inch bottle from Catalina. So, like I say, lots of features. I can't wait to get this thing mounted. Um, next time you guys see it, it will be on the gun um, and I'll be shooting it. So I'll be testing this thing out really soon. Um, basically, let's go over what the stock basically is supposed to do it for, you, for you guys that are not familiar. Is at the back of the um, Air Force guns where you screw the bottle in is normally the flex point. There's also some flex in the actual frame itself up front. So what this does is that weak point will sit here and then the frame sits all along here. So the frame and the weakest point of the bottle where it, or the weakest part of the frame where it attaches to the uh, bottle or where the bottle screws into the frame that will all be supported now. So now if you put your face on the gun yeah you'd have to press pretty hard to get some flex like Doug says you have to flex really hard but purposely do it but all in all if you lay your face on there and you just relax you don't have to be as sensitive as you do without this stock so this stock takes all the sensitivity and all the flex out of the gun and makes it more accurate and more consistent and I have a lot of stuff built into my gun that helps with that um, already so that's why I'm really excited about this because with, with the added um, like I have a, a single bushing it's a solid single bushing instead of two bushings I have one that goes through the mostly through halfway up the frame in the gun so it had it's already has some rigidity built into it um, this stock is gonna help with that so like I say again can't wait to get this thing mounted I'll throw up some stats right after this and uh, you guys will be able to see all the features that this thing has and the features that uh, Doug offers um, Doug can you know he can put weaver bases here for here for you guys that want to do flashlights and uh, a laser here and a flashlight here and I don't know maybe handcuffs you know I don't know whatever whatever you guys do I'm not that big into the whole tactical thing um, but it is offered so I'll put up some stats at the end and I'll see you guys on the next video for this um, which it will be mounted to the gun and we'll be doing some long range uh, accuracy testing and shooting alright thanks guys um, Doug supplies a safety plate here that you need to attach to your gun he includes the installation for that um, you know his business card uh, screw for you know what I'm not sure because I haven't read the instructions yet so don't laugh at me but uh, it's probably to mount the safety plate um, we're going through the stock what these things are I don't know yet but they're some type of bumper oh this probably this I know what these are I'm sorry I'm stupid these go here to protect this from getting scratched it gives you two of them 